Hey everyone, this is Joe with Southeastern Frontiers, and today I am hiking in the Harvest Square Nature Preserve near Harvest, Alabama, which is partway between Huntsville and Ardmore, Alabama. And uh, it's a small little nature preserve that has a nice, couple of nice ponds. And uh, we're just gonna explore its trails. It's flat and easy, so come along, check it out. The Harvest Square Nature Preserve, right off Highway 53 near Harvest, Alabama, is over 36 acres of lowland along Dry Creek that is home to deer, turkey, beaver, and other wildlife. There are over two miles of trails, so a friend and my wife and I set out to explore some of them. We started out at the parking area and immediately crossed the creek on a nice bridge and set out on the Dry Creek Trail. This trail follows along the edge of Dry Creek though, through a nice grove of hardwoods. At this point, we popped out into a cotton field and started following the Senator's Trail around the field. At the opposite corner of the field, the trail follows along the edge of Turner Pond and eventually joins a beautiful boardwalk in order to keep your feet dry. After walking around Turner Pond, we crossed over to the Eagle Trail on the edge of the slightly larger Terry Pond. There are a number of piers jutting out into Terry Pond, which are nice for fishing or just observing. On our way back, we took the Beaver Dam Trail along Dry Creek, where we did indeed find a beaver dam. This small nature preserve is super easy but rewarding to walk and is clearly a favorite with all the families out walking on this nice sunny midwinter day. I've never seen Here's that. the uh, trailhead and parking area right next to this lovely storage building they put in here. But uh, the, the uh, nature preserve is off this direction. Uh-huh. Pretty little creek running through here. All right, we are uh, going to take the dry creek trail for a little bit. I don't think it goes very far. All right, we've come to an intersection. Dry Creek Trail or Short Loop? Yeah, I don't know. Let's stay on the Dry Creek Trail. <laughs> we'll go this way. Well, we just punched out into a, uh, a cotton field in its winter state. I bet it's pretty in the fall when there's maybe some birds here or something, huh? No. The Dry Creek Trail goes that way. Yeah. The Senator's Trail goes that way. Okay. Okay. All right, so we've decided uh, we can either go back that way, which would take us pretty much right back to where we were, or else we can go around the perimeter of this big cotton field, and uh, and uh, so that's what I think we'll do. We're going to head off this way on the Senator's Trail. The trail is named for the uh, mascot of the local high school, the uh, Sparkman Senators, which is just across the road, not more than a mile from here. There's some uh, piles of cotton that have blown in from the field here. <laughs> nice. Well, we've reached one corner of the, uh, the, the cotton field. Yes, we noticed as we were hiking along here that uh, there's some pretty fresh deer tracks. I'm guessing they walked through here this morning. You can see they stepped out here into the softer mud too. Right there. So there, there's some deer hiding in the trees around us here, for sure. All right, we are still on the Senator's Trail, coming around the lake here. And uh, there is a beautiful boardwalk here. This is cool. It runs right along the lake. Nice. Very nice. 
So I helped build part of this boardwalk, so... Uh, Did you? Yeah, I laid planks from... From about... about. Let's see... <laughs> from about here... Yeah, it's right where this little dip was. All the way around the corner up there, not quite to the, where the boardwalk, where you can see people up oh, there. Oh man. Yep, that was a quite the project. Yeah, wet project. Yeah, it wasn't too bad the day we did it. It was a little warm actually, but... The water level wasn't this high because we could walk on this side no problem. I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. I mean, like they do. Those steamrollers where they just do it in front of them. Yeah, no, no, we were able to walk along both sides of it that day. That's very nice. And here's some frogs out there. No, I haven't seen any gators. I've seen some snakes in the water here before. I don't know, I didn't stay to look. <laughs> yep, I think we've always been on it. I think that's the one that does the outside loop. What I don't know is what's off this way. Turner Pond, huh? Well, this would be another good spot to come and watch ducks in the fall. It's a really nice boardwalk here. Yeah. I think it ends over here. Yep. Yeah, I know that trail goes back to the pavilion where we started. So I think we'll go back this way. Very cool though. Well, we have one more little trail to do out here and that's over by the other pond through the trees back there. All right, this time we're gonna go up the Eagle Trail, I think. Lots of little baby fish, minnows. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but they're moving down there. In the shallow warm water here. Turning out to be a beautiful midwinter day though. It's gorgeous out here. We were walking down the beaver dam trail and sure enough, there is a beaver dam right there. And I was commenting how, man, the creek is just not moving back here. <laughs> and Robert said, must be a beaver somewhere. <laughs> and yep, there it is, the beaver dam. Look at that, because the water's running nicely below it. Here's another, I think, older beaver dam that uh, probably flooding washed out and you can see some of the flood debris against the trees there. But I bet this was last year's dam. And this year's dam is right upstream there. Cool, there's probably more. <laughs>
All right, that was a nice little walk in the Harvest Square Nature Preserve. Thanks for coming along with us today. We'll catch you next time.